some of us. I hope you checked out Carnivore Alley. That's where I was most of the day. I'm Jennifer Rose. I'm with the Central Fairfax Chamber of Commerce. I am only your talking head tonight. Big shout out to Parks and Rec for helping organize this. And I think helping, shoot, they organize this. Let's have a big shout out for all the staff of the City of Fairfax, Parks and Recreation, all the first responders, all that good stuff. This is our 46th annual Fall Festival. Can you believe that? So tonight we've got our after concert. We got a couple of uh, housekeeping items while we're waiting for. Oh, he's here. Excellent. I'll, I'll talk. Oh, Jameson, my friend. Sorry, I digress. Um, HP Home Services, right over there. Locally owned, veteran owned. They are our sponsor tonight. We can't do these great events without great companies like HP. So thanks to the Jimmy and Mallory and Emily and the whole crew over there. Uh, other important housekeeping. The beer garden is like right behind you. Get your tickets down there. Um, it stays open until 8.30. And the ladies of Zonta International are pouring the beer tonight. Tip that over 12 years ago is a bunch of college buddies playing some Celtic music in the streets. And there's grown to be a headliner band at the U.S. Celtic Festival Circuit, as well as uh, a name in the Bluegrass Americana Festival Circuit. For over 12 years, they have found success as an independent band and have played over 1,300 shows all over the United States, Europe, Canada, and as far away as Australia. We are so lucky to have them tonight. They have produced a couple of albums during the pandemic. There's not a lot of good stuff that happens with the pandemic, but albums from this group is amazing. Please put your hands together, friends, neighbors. Give a warm welcome to Cynthia. Okay, everybody, we're putting you on the spot, right? We're going to ask for a little bit of rhythm from you. Just like that. Let's start out with some Irish jigs. Here we go.
here. This next one's coming from the northern parts of Donegal. This one's called the Hills of Donegal.
Chris, this is your clap solo. Give us that one-handed clap. Huh, huh. Or you can clap your neighbor's hand, give him a little high five. I like it. Beautiful, beautiful. What teamwork.
right, everybody, we have authentic Irish dancers. So they will dance, and you guys provide the rhythm for them. Give them some courage, some strength. Come on, everybody. Introduction. My brother Alex and I, we started as street performers. And we have a serious question. Does anybody want free stickers? Let's do this. So we're sitting, we're a little bit Irish here, so we're gonna pass around some Irish luck. So maybe if we can have someone to help out, we're gonna first get the kids, you guys want some stickers? And then we're gonna pass it out to all the parents as well. All right, here you yeah, go. Yeah, these stickers are magic. They're scratch and sniff. So they, they smell like either beer or Skittles, depending on your age. Accordion. Thank right. you. We want to think it's making a comeback. So this next song is an accordion song. It's an old sea shanty. So if you know the words, sing with us. All right. Here you go, boys.
And the whale's not gone, no Berlin makes his regular call to encourage Captain Crew and all. out here on the ship deck here and we have a special treat now we've recorded a bunch of albums 15 albums actually but that song has been unreleased but we recorded it so if you guys want to get a free download of that we want to ask you guys a favor right now we've been trying to get the word out ever since COVID happened everything stopped for us musicians it is really hard to get back in the saddle and you know, we started doing some shows, but we want to get the word out about shows locally, all right? So this is the way we can do this and we can survive as a band. If you guys want to become text buddies with us, it's pretty simple. Now we have to bypass Facebook because these days it's getting harder to get the word out to you guys. Yeah, we so we're going to go old out, fashioned. We found out that Mark Zuckerberg actually hates us. <laughs> can you believe it? Well, we don't really like Mark Zuckerberg that much either, but to be fair. But, um, but honestly, we want to stay directly in touch with you. And this, my brother, what he'll do, he's a, he'll put the Fear Facts uh, group all right, in his phone, and he'll let you guys know when we do a show here in the area. We're planning to be back here around St. Patrick's Day in the area for warm-up, right? You guys with us on that? That's we right. want to help you guys safely go into St. Patrick's Day, so no sprains, well, we promise you, no we, injuries. We, we're not going to spam you too much. So, Guys, it's daylight. I can see you. You can at least take out your phones and pretend you're doing it to make us feel better. <laughs> Check Twitter or something. Eighteen hours in the coal mine, Johnny. Daddy's gone down in a hole. Coal's gone dry in the heart now. Johnny gotta save your mama from the coal. Save your mama from the coal.
Mazavajan at the top.